Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. How's everybody doing today? Listen, uh, just really quick, I wanted to show you some things before I use these things, and then I'm going to show you what these things look like after I use them. So, so I went out and got the NutriBullet juicer because, look, according to this, you can put 13 whole apples in there or 20 whole carrots at a time. Most of these things don't take seeds and the top part and the little bottom part. According to this, it does. Now, once I open this, if it says that you have to cut these up and take the seeds out, y'all, this is false advertising. So I'm just going to go ahead and mention that up, up front. It better take the whole friggin' apple. Um, but right now I'm actually making breakfast for the man. We've got his chocolate protein Kodiak or Kodak, Kodak waffles. Going to put some Jif peanut butter on them. I'm actually doing weird things. I have some peppers and onions and rice and broccoli I made on the stove, like grilled it last night. I'm going to make myself some fried eggs. The man, however, um, I'm warming up some steak that we made on the grill last night. Oh, and then I should probably stir these eggs up. I'm making him eggs. And then I'm going to juice the crap out of a bunch of stuff that I have in the refrigerator. Look, let me show you. Literally all down here are fruits and vegetables that I have all cut up, minus the rice. Then I got like kale and asparagus, and I got some mango and some grapes hiding back there and some broccoli. And I'm going to make as many things as I can of juice today before it's time to hit the road, to go to Georgia, to see the moms for Mother's Day. I should probably, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm over here like burning the man's eggs because I'm focused on you guys, which, you know, good place to be focused, but I'm going to stop this now and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so breakfast is over. The man is actually sitting at the table over there editing one of his videos. What I want to do now is jump into this thing right here. So. I went to Target yesterday and I have a whole story to tell you about what happened at Target because the odds just, it's, it's a lot. But I'm gonna open this fun mamma jamma up right here and I'm gonna start juicing stuff. I'll show you guys kinda what's happening while I do some juicing. And then I'll be back to tell you all kinds of fun stuff that happened yesterday. If I can get this open. I know scissors would be helpful, but I feel like I can superwoman strength it. This is some legitimate tape though. Um, but I want to get this thing open. The whole reason I'm telling you about the this one is because a lot of you guys, when I asked about the juicers in the live stream, the Mimosa Monday live stream last Monday, earlier this week, because that's today's Friday and that was Monday. Um, you mentioned, a lot of you mentioned some like Breville and a bunch of other names. I wrote them all down. I looked them all up. Price wise, this Nutra, what is this? Nutra Bullet juicer um it seemed like a really really uh good price to start off with that's bigger because it's bigger than y'all can y'all see that one that one over there that's the dash one that i was using it's super tiny i think what i'm going to do is give that one to my mom because it makes more sense for a, a solo person to use that one because if i'm trying to juice for me the man and the kid it takes a very very long time to do that much in that smaller thing so this one I decided to get this one. I was at Target, and again, I'll tell you that story after we're done with the juicing stuff. Um, I went in there for two things, and I walked out with a, a Nutribullet juicer, but because it's normally $110, and Target had it on sale for 80 bucks, I was like, listen, $80 is a really good time to get this, and if I love it, I saved $30, and if I hate it, I return it, and I saved $80 if I have to return it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try this thing out, I'm gonna put it all together, but this is what it's supposed to look like once you get it all done. And I'm telling you, if I open this and it says you cannot put a whole apple in there, I'm sending an email <laughs> to corporate. I'm gonna write a letter. I'm gonna carry in the crap out of it, but I gotta get it out of here first. So I'm gonna take this out of here and then pull out all the juicing materials from the refrigerator, because again, there's a lot. Turns out also, I don't love the carrot, carrot juices, the ones that are like 90% carrot. One, it tastes like carrot, <laughs> like way too carroty. But also, in case anybody would like a, a little bit TMI, it really makes your pee a lot darker than you would expect. And only after drinking the carrot one. So it's not like it's my pee in general. It was the carrot juice, I'm sure. Look, it's 11-11. Make a wish. Okay, keep going. That's what I do. If I happen to look at the clock and it's 11-11, 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, because those are your only options, I make a wish and I continue about my day. So I'm going to get this fun mamma jamma taken apart here. And then I'll show you some juicing and then we'll talk about what happened at Target yesterday because, huh. All right, so I washed everything and now I'm gonna try to put this thing together correctly based off of looking at it, not actually doing any kind of test, but looking at it. I'm pretty sure that goes there. 
And then you put in the shoot. Nope, <laughs> you need the little grindy part. So the grindy part, sorry, I'm pulling these out of the dishwasher. This is the grindy part. This basket's really large, but it goes down in here and you put it down in here and twist to align it, which seems to be a little difficult. There we go. And I think it's supposed to, there you go, snap in place. Then you put this on here and it also twists and locks into place. So you've got that. Then you're supposed to pull this handle up but I feel like I have done this incorrectly or maybe it goes from the back to the front and I have it upside down. So this has little sticky things on the bottom so it seems to grip the counter really well. Yeah, this goes this way but I've already got it plugged in so look, I'm just making things extra difficult for myself. All right, so you do this and then you push this into place, the little handle, so that it holds the lid on and nothing moves. Plug this back in so I don't forget. And then the spout is over here, so I need to move this somehow so you guys can still see it. But the spout's over here, and what you're supposed to do is take dun, 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 the handy dandy, because it comes with this big um, pitcher, and you put the lid on the pitcher, and what it says to do is to line this little fun mamma jamma here up with this thing here, but you have to put it at an angle in order for it to fit under. And I think that was an issue for a lot of people because then it lifts this up a little bit. It doesn't actually sit flush anymore once you put this under there. And if you're not careful and you fill it too high, then you're gonna have a problem taking it out because you have to angle it to get it back out at the same time. So there's a lot happening here. And I feel like this is off center and I don't know how to center center it. Let's see, y'all work with me here. I try not to break a nail. Like I have nails, look, I have like grubby little fingernails right now. But this, is this lined up, lined up? There we go. Now it's super lined up. Okay, so this, what they say, I read the directions first, it's like literally every single word. And it says to be careful when you take it out, use one hand to pull this out and one hand to close the spout or else you're gonna have the drippings from everything hitting your counter. Oh, that fits much better now, okay. So basically this little spout goes directly down into the pitcher so nothing should spill. And unlike the dash one, which let me see if I can show it to you guys, I've kind of got everything worked around here. Unlike this one, this one has the cup that goes underneath here for the pulp to drip out into. This one has a basin that catches everything. So when you're done, you literally just lift it out and dump it or save it if you wanna use it to make like um, muffins and breads and whatnots later. So the first one I want to make, let's see how this works. The first one I wanna make is out of that book I showed you guys, the Juicing for Beginners. This is the one I wanna do. I made it before, and what's weird is it says seedless red grapes, but I didn't have those, so I used green grapes, and it was friggin' fantastic tasting, so I'm going the same route today. I'm gonna to make the exact same thing. So I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, as it's going, and uh, then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of the video, and I can tell you what happened at Target yesterday. So enjoy the juicing and then the combo. First, I have my two cups of grapes. I'm gonna pour them in this bowl to hold them so I can keep using this to get the spinach, the kale, and the apple. I have a cup of spinach and a cup of kale and one medium apple that I'd already chopped up before I did all this. All right, so now I'm going to get started and hope this goes well. If not, we'll have, uh, what is this? video proof that I don't even know how to use a juicer. So the on button is over here. We'll drop these in first because I think you're supposed to have something in there before you hit start. So there's the apples. And it says to do everything like this one on low because it's not carrots or whatever. Because there's, there's the off, there's a low, and there's a high. With the dash one, there was only on and reverse. But this one, it says if you're using, uh, basically if you're juicing anything that's not like a hard vegetable, like a carrot or a beet, um, to use low, so that's what we're gonna do. And I, hopefully this isn't like ridiculously loud either. Oh no, that's not quiet. Oh look, there's juice, can y'all see? Look, can y'all see that? The juice is coming out. Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> okay, so. So, so <laughs> I don't know this is how this is supposed to go, but y'all, this thing is aggressive. It looks like it just blew up in there. Like definitely doesn't happen like this with the dash one, but the thing is loud. It's much louder than that little one. And it was like vibrating my counter, number one. Number two, if I did not have this covering it, 
that apple would have literally gone everywhere. That does not happen with the dash one either. So this is, this is aggressive, like way more than I expected. So I think what I'm going to do now is continue on and show you guys the end result. All right, here goes the grapes. You guys ready? Let's see what happens here. You have to get see them hopping around in there. Man, that is so aggressive. I don't know what I expected, but that was not it. Although it's doing a very good job. You can see how frothy the top is, but there's the, so far we've got the grapes and the apples. I'm kind of scared to do this. This thing's going to go in like two seconds flat. So I'm going to go ahead and put the kale in here. You guys can watch the kale go. But this thing is definitely louder than I expected it to be. If you all are juicing, because a lot of you gave me the idea on which ones to get and, and what to do. Is your juicer stupid loud or do you have one that is not nearly as loud? Because I think the problem here, and I just realized this as I'm doing this, the problem here, this isn't a masticating one. Oh man, I think that's what everybody said to get was the masticating one so it doesn't get hot and it doesn't um, lose any of the, the nutrients and it takes longer this one isn't masticating. The, the dash one is because it's got that, that auger, I think it's called, that little thing in the center that twirls around and cuts things up, whereas this one has blades. And I think that might be what the issue is because it's definitely not doing things like the dash one did. I didn't even bother to look. Look, I'm too new at this. And on here, it doesn't say what it is and i i expected it would have said it and i because it didn't it didn't even occur to me to look so maybe this is not the route that i want to go but we're going to finish juicing stuff today because i want to pack them all up and take them with me to georgia we're going to put them all in the the uh, these little ball containers that i have here plus i rinsed out a bunch of the old glass jars of juice that i had so i can take these with me and i followed your advice <laughs> for those of you giving me the advice and i went back to target um yesterday where all the fun stuff transpired we'll talk about soon and got the leak proof lid so i don't have to use the metal ones since i'm not technically canning you know what i mean so um let's do this and see what happens and Ian, i won't make you sit through here and watch the rest but i it just occurred to me is this like stupid loud on your end watching it at the same time? I'm scared to do this now. Oh golly, that's aggressive. So aggressive. Wow. That is so aggressive. The, the breeze that's coming out of the top of this thing is ridiculous. Can y'all hear that wind down? Man. Okay, look, let me show you, because this is what it, hello, that's, can y'all see, that's what it, I don't know if this is working, I think y'all can see, that's what it looks like down in there, and it definitely, it's definitely um, not m masticating, is that the one we said? Masticating, it's definitely not that, uh, it made the juice though, um, I'm not sure how I feel about this one so far because I started to lift this little top part out where the spinach and stuff was in there, and a little piece flew out. That's scary when it's like, literally, you don't want food flying. So I'm going <laughs> to, I think I'm going to finish juicing with this thing today. And then I think I'm going to clean the bejesus out of it and put it right back in its handy dandy uh, Nutribullet juicer box over there and take my happy butt back over to Target with a, I don't like this kind of return. Yeah, I don't think I love it. It's, it's really aggressive. So one down. Now I gotta try another one after this, but I'm gonna finish juicing and then I'll be back for the Target story. So this is what it looks like after you get done. This is the the dry bin. I don't know what it's called. The bin that all the dried part goes to. But you can see it's still kind of wet in there. So I've scooped it out twice and rerun it through. But it fills up way faster than I expected. And the last whole orange I put in, it didn't give me any orange juice out of it. So I'm not a fan of this one. So I cleaned up from all of the juicing and I've put half of the thing back into the Nutribullet juicer box. I don't know if this one sucks because it's not the pro because the pro was the one I thought I was going to get at first. But y'all, I hate this. <laughs> I legitimately hate it. I feel like I used 
twice as many fruits and vegetables to get half the amount of juice as the last time I did this using the dash one, which is over there in the corner somewhere. Um, I absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate it. I felt like it did not dry out any of the pulp. Like the pulp was still wet. I had to scoop the pulp out of the inside little pulp bin two times and run it back through in order to actually get the juice out. And even then I felt like there could have been more. I'm not a fan of it at all. Like maybe if I hadn't used the dash one before the, let me show you guys again. If I hadn't used this thingy before, if this itty bitty little jam right here works so much better than that honking thing over there. And this one was on sale 50 or 60 bucks. And so when I saw that one on sale for 80, I was like, man, that's a really good deal. Look how much more it can do. Bullshit. I don't like that one. So that's just my thoughts. If you guys are looking for a juicer, I will tell you from experience, I like this one much better. Yes, it takes longer, but I can see why, because it's masticating, right? That's the right word. Probably should have looked this up before I started talking again, because it doesn't say it anywhere in here, but I'm pretty sure masticating is the right word, although that sounds like a really gross word if you say it too many times in a row. Um, but I like this one, loathe, loathe, loathe it. I will show you the juices that I got made though. And then I'm going to put them in here because we're leaving. Side note, we're leaving after the kid gets out of school today to drive from here to Georgia to go see the moms because Mother's Day is on Sunday. And my sister-in-law, um, they weren't able to come here because she has a party for her nephew, I think tomorrow afternoon. So instead of her missing her nephew's party, we're going there so that she can still do all that. But I made a bunch of different juices the separation of these things is interesting. Can y'all see the separation there? So what this one is, if I remember correctly, this one, I'm guessing this is apple on the bottom. This is red grapes in the middle. And at the top you have kale and um, spinach and it looks really gross here, right? But then when you shake it up, it still looks gross. It looks like a jar of really um, running baby doo-doo. This one is... Oh man, here's the downside. They look so much alike that I don't remember what this one is. Oh, this one is an orange and three tangerines and where I re-ran the kale and spinach through the thing again because it still wasn't fully dried out. And I think there's like some apple in here. That's what this one is. This one is the green grapes and the apple and the spinach and kale. And then y'all, this one here, this is why I decided I don't like this thing. So I used this um, old jar, but can you guys see how like it's thick at the top? And I don't understand why it's thick. It has peels from the blueberries. It's supposed to be super juicy, but it's, it's, not, it's not like the other juices. And I don't know why. So this is grapes, strawberries, and blueberries, and a lemon, because I figured why not make it a little zingy. But I, what I figure I'm gonna do is take this, and mix it. Um, I don't like sparkling water by itself, but I got some of these at Whole Foods. I got this one and I got a pineapple mango one, uh, the Whole Foods brand. And so I'm going to mix like either a flavored one or just a plain like, um, what is this one? Pellegrino. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah. Pellegrino with it to give it like a little oomph maybe. Anyway, that's that. So listen, <laughs> yesterday I went to Target. I went to Target because the man needed chapstick for his, his car because we used it all, um, which I'm very proud of us. I don't think many people use an entire stick of chapstick. I think most of the time they either get lost or they melt out or you have 10,000 of them open all over the place. But we went through an entire one. Very proud of ourselves. So um, I went by there to get that and gloves. I'm putting these up, which is why I keep going away. And gloves so I could clean our shower uh, cause it got a little grody on the bottom and I need to clean it. Right. That's what I went in there for. Got all the juicers, whatever. Let me explain what happened because I don't know if you guys believe in those little moments of I'll, I'll go with divine intervention, I guess you could say, or maybe just right place, right time, uh, whatever. So I'm at target and I have a basket. I didn't get a cart. I got a basket, right? Cause I'm like, if you get a cart, you're going to buy a bunch of shit. You don't need get a basket. Still bought some shit I didn't need. And I had to carry that under one arm and I had a basket under the other arm and I'm on my way to the registers. And I remembered that I wanted to get the lids, the, um, the things you guys had told me about these things, the leak proof lids. I remember I wanted to get those. So I'm all the way almost to the front and I turn around and go all the way back. Okay. 
And I pick them up and I put them in my basket and then I stand there for another second and then I go to walk away and I'm like, no, no, not yet. And I go back. I didn't pick anything else up, but I went back to where I was with the lids and just stood there for a second. And then I was like, okay, I'll go now. And I went to leave. And as soon as I go to turn around the corner, I hear, oh no, no, I'm fine. That's what I get for looking at my phone and walking around the corner. And there's a woman, I don't know how to guess ages. So I hope I'm not wrong, but I would say maybe, maybe early sixties, maybe it's like, I don't, I don't freaking know how to tell maybe early sixties sitting on the ground where you normally would push your carts. Like she's in the main aisle of target, not any of those side aisles, the main aisle where you, where you'd push your cart. She's sitting on the ground, ankles crossed, a uh, tissue in one hand. And I don't even know if she had her phone in her hand. I'm trying to think of it. She said she, I heard the comment of that's what I get for looking at my phone and walking, you know, whatever. And there was an older gentleman who was probably, and don't take this the wrong way, probably the age of the crypt keeper. Very nice though, offered to help her. And she's like, no, no, no. I'm just going to sit here for a second. At which point my brain went, well, you're not going to sit there by yourself because if you feel the need to sit there, there's something wrong. So I go past her and I turn around and I set all my stuff down and I told her, I said, I hope you don't mind if I just kind of stand here with you for a second because my arm's getting tired from holding this box and this thing. So I'm just going to set him here and I'm just going to chill here uh, with you until, until, you know, you're good or whatever. And she's like, Oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And I told her, I said, well, I'd be happy to help you up. I don't know if you were worried about the older gentleman trying to help, but I've got a lot of weight to me. I can, I can help you up if you need some help. She goes, the problem is I have a really bad sinus infection. So I'm really dizzy and I'm on antibiotics and I think I just need to sit here for a second. And I said, okay, you know what? No problem. And I told her, I said, well, while you're sitting here, if you want to sit here and regain just whatever you need to regain, um, if you don't mind watching my basket, I'm going to go get you these things called C bands that help immensely with like that, that nausea, motion, sickness, whatever feeling. And she's like, okay, thank you. So I go like four aisles down, I get them and I come back and I'm telling her all about them just so she's sitting there and kind of paying attention and talking and whatever else. Cause I don't know how she fell. I have no idea how she fell. I don't know if she ran into something while she was walking, if she got super, super dizzy and just kind of collapsed. I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to stay with her until she felt like she was able to get up. Right. So all these people are coming by going, are you okay? She goes, no, I'm fine. I'm just going to sit here. Uh, target employees ask, are you good? She goes, yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a second. And I'm sure people are thinking to themselves, why is this lady sitting in the middle of the floor? Get up, get out of the way. Cause you know, people suck sometimes. And uh, people with carts are going around and doing the whole look back. Like, uh, you know, you're blocking things, whatever. And I just sat down on the floor with her and I was explaining the bands and telling her, you know, how to use them. I was showing her exactly what, what, how to, how to put them on, what they do. And, um, she was like, you know, it really sucks to be here on vacation and <clears throat> sorry, hiccup and to be sick and whatever else. And I was like, honey, don't even sweat it. It happens to all of us. I've gone on vacation and spent the whole time puking before. Like it, it happens. It's not, it's not a big deal. I said, you're on antibiotics. And she goes, the only reason I'm here is because I needed more tissues. I ran out of tissues. My brain going, I hope she walked here and didn't drive or somebody drove her and they're just waiting in the car for her. I don't know how that one ended. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if she walked, drove or somebody drove her. Um, but cause I had to get back home. So I could not hang around forever and ever, but I hung around as long as I possibly could. So I'm sitting there with her and she finally goes, okay, I think I'm ready to get up. And she goes to get up and she like almost falls again. And I'm like, no, no, no. So I'm like trying to catch her from behind. And there's a target employee right in front of her that kind of decided to hang out in the same area at the same time, just to be safe as a person. I don't even think she did it as a target employee, like for the company. I think she did it as a human being who cared about another human being. Right. So she tries to help her in the front and she go, the lady that fell, she said, Oh, maybe I hurt my knee a little bit. It's, it's kind of hard to straighten. And, uh, I asked her, I said, well, do you want me to go get you? I said, this is a perfect excuse to go zoom, zoom around one of the little zippy carts. I said, I'd take the opportunity if I were you trying to make it seems like it wasn't such a big deal, you know, like, so she didn't feel embarrassed or whatever else, or felt like she had no choice of how to get around uh, the store or back out of the store. And she was like, no, 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 no. I think I'll be fine. She goes, it's fine. She, you could tell she really did not want anybody to help her. She didn't want to seem like a burden. And that's how it felt to me anyway. And, um, whatever else, maybe she was just in a hint of denial about maybe how dizzy she was, or if that's even why she fell or how bad her knee hurt. But the target employee 
she was like, yeah, um, I'll get somebody to bring one anyway. That way you at least have something, maybe a cart. So you have something to lean on and walk with something, something like that. And so the target employee took over and I, cause I had to go, I had to get home and I was like, you know, I hope you feel better. Try the bands. I promise you they help. You don't need to be on a boat for them to do their job or in a car, use them. It will help immensely on top of your antibiotics or whatever else. So then I, I go to the checkout and I check out, I do all my stuff and I go to checkout and I leave and I'm, I leave and I go out to the right and I decided I'm like four aisles down and normally I would go all the way down the sidewalk and then cut over to my aisle. But then I decided to go ahead and go straight across and walk all the way down. And as I cut across and I'm walking down, I noticed that Target has those new um, pull up spots where like the order it online, they bring it out to you like Walmart does with, with the whatevers. And this lady, I assumed it was a lady. I don't know why I assumed it was a lady. I assumed it was a woman because it was a massive SUV. It was a GMC, um, I think, I don't, know, I don't know what it was. It was a GMC Denali or Yukon, one of the two. It was a GMC. And I assumed it was a woman because the, how much stuff was in the back of it, which I guess says a lot about us as women. We always have a lot of crap. Um, but I'm walking and I have the Nutribullet under one arm and I have two heavy friggin' bags in my hand because I bought body washes and all kinds of stuff while I was in there. I figured why not get everything under the sun? And I'm walking and I see the, the trunk of her car open and I can tell that Target has already come out and put all her stuff in. I can see all the bags in there and the, the trunk is still open. But on the ground, there is something has fallen out of her bag and it's on the ground. So as I get closer, I realize she's in the driver's seat and she's on the phone. And I think she's about to like close her little, the, the trunk thing. I don't know if that's what it's called when it's an SUV. Back hatch? That sounds right. I noticed that it looks like she's about to close the back hatch. I'm like, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Something fell out. I said, do you mind if I put my stuff down and pick it up for you and put it and just put it right here on the back so you don't have to get all out, out again? She's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. That's fine. So I show her the stuff in my hands. I put my stuff down. I pick up. She had this big thing of a scotch, the little scrubbing pads, the green and yellow ones, which is why I noticed them because they're bright yellow. So I pick them up and I show them to her. So, cause she's looking at me in her rear view. And I said, I'm just going to set these down right here and push them back a little bit so they don't fall out again. And then you're good to go. And so I do that and I'm, I pick up my stuff and pick up the neutral bullet, put it back under my arm and I'm walking away. And whoever she's on the phone with was like, what was that? And the lady was like, oh, something fell out. And this person was nice enough to pick it up and put it back in the, the car for me. So that was really nice. And I was like, hey, that, that feels good. Now, the cynic in me is thinking to myself, if that had been reversed and I had been the one in the car and somebody's like, hey, I'm just going to put this in your car for you, my brain would have been like, well, what are you going to take at the same time? Like, you're going to put these in, but are you going to take something? But I guess because my hands were full, she realized I wasn't really going to take anything. But that was how Target went. I was like, two things in one day? Like, seriously, I literally was only going in there for two things, the chapstick and the gloves. And then I got all kinds of distracted by everything else because that's what happens to me at Target. I got all the other stuff. Uh, and I hope the lady is okay. This is the downside to life. I constantly wonder what happened, what happened to the lady? Um, what happens to anybody I see that has encountered some sort of something, uh, that I've witnessed, whether it's, you know, somebody fell or somebody was crying or somebody was arguing with somebody. I constantly wonder later on what happened. I wonder what happened there. Is that person? Okay. Is the person done crying? Is whatever they're crying about? Okay. Did they quit arguing? You know, it's, I know it's weird, but sticks with me. Those kind of things stick with me. And, and I don't know why, but y'all I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go see my mom and my mother-in-law. And I almost said my Nana, which that's, that slipped in there because my mom went and put flowers on her grave on Tuesday for mother's day. So that thought slipped into my head. Uh, I was thinking about something earlier and I don't remember what, Oh, that's what, okay. So look, <laughs> I was tell, talking to the man this morning cause I made breakfast for us because I always make breakfast. I'm like little Betty Crocker over here, um, Susie Homemaker, if you will. Um, I always make him scrambled eggs because he likes scrambled eggs and I like fried eggs. So I cook his stuff first and then I take care of myself. I do mine afterwards. And I was telling him, I was like, what's so funny is when I was little, my Nana would always make um, scrambled eggs for Buddy, which is was her boyfriend. And he was kind of like my grandfather, father, but not like, not by blood. You know what I mean? So she would make him... Um, no, she would make him fried eggs and I hated fried eggs. I didn't want anything to do with fried eggs. I wanted scrambled eggs. So she would make him his eggs and then she would make me scrambled eggs. And I never thought about the fact that I was making her do double work because I wouldn't just eat what she was making everybody else because I guess I was a spoiled little brat, right? 
So she would always make me the scrambled eggs, even though she'd make him fried eggs. And then as I got older, I was like, buddy, why don't you just eat scrambled eggs so Nana doesn't have to do nearly as much work? It never occurred to me that I could have just eaten the fried eggs so that she didn't have to do as much work. And now that I'm older and I have the ability to tell the man, you're eating fried eggs like me, or I have the ability to decide to eat scrambled eggs like him, I still choose to do two different things. Make him scrambled eggs, make me fried eggs. And that's what's funny. I like fried eggs now, hated them when I was little. Weird little flip of things, right? So just thought I wanted to share with you guys. Also, I've been up since 5.30, so I've caffeinated twice today. Um, why 5.30, you may ask yourself. Um, not on purpose. It's because living in an apartment when some dumb shit either pulls an alarm or does something too close to the detectors or the whatevers, all the loudest alarms go screaming and bla uh, blaring at whatever time. And today it was 5.20 something. The alarms went off. All the alarms went off. And so that's that immediate wake up where you immediately feel like you're going to vomit. You guys ever done that where you're woken up like out of a deep sleep, like a scare wake up? Literally felt like I was going to throw up immediately. But we had to get out of the apartment. So you've got the kid and the dog, the man and me chilling on the sidewalk at 530. And then we knew it wasn't a big deal when we see the um, fire chief come by. No, the lights were on, but there's no sound. He comes by, turns off the sounds. Then the fire truck comes through, no sirens. And they just kind of chill for a second. And then they go around the corner and we're like, you know what? Again, this is the third time it's happened in the year that we've been here. So we came back in at about 530, 535. And the kid was like, I'm going back to sleep. And I asked the man, I said, what about you? He's like, nah, I'm up. And I was like, yeah, me too. So I made us coffee at 5.30, 5.35. Kid went back to sleep. And now I need a nap. <laughs> but instead of a nap, we have a six hour drive after the kid gets out of school to Georgia. And then of course, once you get there, you're not immediately going to bed. You got to hang out with family, right? You have to stay up. So I'll probably see my eyelids when the sun is coming up tomorrow because that's normally how that works. But I am excited because tomorrow get to hang out with sister-in-law, brother-in-law, nephew, moms during the day. Then for the evening, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, nephew have a party to go to. So we are hanging out with the moms at my mother-in-law's house. We're going to pick up like chicken wings or something. So nobody has to cook. We're going to go hang out over there. This will be the first Mother's Day for my mother-in-law where her mom isn't there. Not that she passed away, but she has just been admitted to a um, nursing home for, I'm, I'm going to say, I don't know if it's for early onset dementia, but she's been in the hospital for like the last couple of weeks because of erratic behavior and whatnot. Um, so this will be the first time that she's been away for Mother's Day, I think, from my mother-in-law. And so I don't know if it'll be difficult for her or if she'll be able to breathe a little bit because it's been kind of a rocky whirlwind kind of thing there. But either way, we're going to hang out with her so she doesn't really have to focus on it too much. We'll be there with her Saturday night. And then Sunday we get to do a cookout. My sister-in-law was like, listen, we could try to go to one of these restaurants and sit in line for seven hours with everybody else to have subpar food or we can take advantage of the fact that we have a grill and we can make you know nathan's hot dogs and bubba burgers and stuff like that so i'm taking my juices um and the sparkling water or stuff there so we can have those on the cookout day on sunday uh with everything else my mom's gonna do like fruit and veggie tray i think i think my mother-in-law is doing some dessert stuff i'm not quite sure not 100% sure, but I'm going to pack the rest of my cucumbers and carrots and whatever else with the juices in this Yeti bag that, in theory, if you guys have never seen one of these, my, my friend Lewis gave me this. It's not that big inside because it's super, super insulated, but I'm going to throw the juices and some uh, ice in there and hope it works, but that's easier to transport than a huge cooler uh, when we already have other bags to take. So that's what I got. Uh, we're not coming back till Monday though, so there's like a very small possibility Mimosa Monday either will not happen or we'll have to push it back to like 7 or 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you guys are okay with a pushback time on Monday, please let me know. If you're like, no, 5 o'clock or nothing, we don't want to see your face, then I'll probably have to cancel it, which I don't want to do. So if you guys are okay, it's a little bit later, just let me know. Thanks for hanging out with me while I juice some stuff and realize that I don't like that thing, um, which means my mom's not getting this one yet. I got to keep using this until I, I go a different route. My friend, uh, Zach, the real, he's a real estate agent. He, he comments on my videos and I can't think of what his channel name is. Zach, you have to, hopefully you comment on this, Zach, so I can uh, pin it. Um, 
He sent Kevin a text saying he uses the Omega. So I'm going to look into that one and see how that one uh, works. Hopefully it's masticating. I don't, I still think that's the right word. I'm pretty sure it's the right word, but that's it. Listen, I love you all. Not a rambly video. I promise you. I don't feel like it was rambly. There's a lot of energy behind it because there's a lot of caffeine in this body right now. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Um, that's about all. I love y'all immensely. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Friday, my dudes. Probably not going to see you tomorrow. Maybe Sunday if I can get the moms and my sister-in-law and everybody to do like a little something, something I can throw up here so we can have just like a little family time together. But I hope you all get to enjoy your weekend, whether it is a Mother's Day event or not. Uh, it does not matter as long as you are happy and enjoying your day. That is what matters. But I will say just an early happy Mother's Day to all of the female caregivers out there. You do not have to be a blood mother, birth mother. You do not have to be a mother mother. You can be a grandma, an aunt, a sister, a friend, a cousin, a whatever else. If you are helping to raise a, a child or you had a child, have a child, uh, helping to raise a, a neighbor's kid, village, whatever. Happy Mother's Day. I love you all. I'll see you guys later. Bye.